Do you feel like you're tied to your email every second of every day? We can often work on email for hours and not even realize that we did. We're left wondering where the time went and what we got done. In this video number seven in our series on clearing your email, we'll talk about scheduling time for email today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today is video number seven in our series of 10 on clearing your email. And I would like to talk to you about scheduling time for email because it becomes a big time suck for a lot of us because we think we need to be on our email and answering people immediately. And that's not true. There are certain professions where you have some time sensitivity with emails and you may have to be in there more often, but you can still schedule time for your email and we'll talk about how to do that in a moment. The importance of scheduling time for your email is that you then remain in control of your time. When you're constantly tied to your email and you're checking it every moment of every day, you feel like you need to answer people's emails immediately. And once you do that, you are then telling people that you're always available, and we don't want that to be true for you. Instead, by scheduling specific times each day to check email, you become in control of when things happen. You know approximately when you're going to check your email. That can fluctuate based on interruptions and phone calls. But for the most part, you try to check at the same time each day, and then you try to respond at those same times. In this way, you can start to give people more realistic expectations of when you'll get back to them. If they email you in the morning and you've already checked email, then you'll get back to them in the afternoon during your email time frame. Let's look at an exercise that can help you figure out how long your time frame should be and when. This graphic gives you the steps to walk through to figure out your email time frames each day. First, think about how much time are you currently spending on email? This can be a rough estimate. It doesn't have to be exact. If you're spending two hours, three hours, four hours, try to figure that out. And maybe it takes paying attention to that for the rest of the week so that you can figure out how much time that is and then you can do this exercise later. Once you have that amount of time in your mind or written down, next think about how many times a day do you need to check email? This will vary greatly depending on what you do for a living. For real estate agents, you may need to check your email once an hour. For other professions, they may only need to check email once or twice a day. For most of us, it will probably be somewhere in the middle. It might be three or four times a day. That's what I see most commonly. Once you have your numbers, you can do the math to figure out the answer to your specific time frames. You will take the amount of time that you spend on email divided by how many times a day you need to check email, and that should give you approximately how many minutes you have each time during the day to check email. And then you can assign those times on your calendar or maybe as a part of your tasks, reminders somewhere. Just make sure that that becomes a part of your routine. An example here at the bottom is if you currently spend two hours or 120 minutes on email, then you want to check four times a day. You take 120 divided by the four gives you 30 minutes for each email time frame through the day. And most of us will probably do our email first thing when we start working in the morning, then we might check it before lunch and then maybe after lunch and then once before we leave for the day. That might be your four email time frames. The important thing is making sure that this does become a part of your routine. Because when you have these dedicated times, and I recommend using a timer when you start these email time frames, let's use our example here. When I start working on my email time frame for 30 minutes, I will set my timer for 30 minutes. And it's amazing the transformation that occurs when you have a timer and it sets a deadline in your mind you will immediately move faster, you'll make decisions faster, you will delegate faster if that's something that's available to you, you will delete more, you will make quicker decisions. All of these things just automatically happen when you set that timer. In addition, by using a timer, 
you are taking the worry about how much time you've spent on email or how much time you have left to spend on email, taking that away from you and putting it on the timer. It will take care of all of that for you so you don't have to worry about spending too long or how much time is left. Doing this exercise to figure out what times each day and for how long you're going to check email is a huge piece of keeping your inbox clear. Over time, you will want to monitor what you've set as your timeframes each day. If you're finding that you're getting things done faster because of that timer that you're setting, you can shrink your timeframes during the day to check email, which would be great. If you're finding that it's not enough time for you to check email, you just need to increase those timeframes a little bit. The system is 100% yours, so tweak it and do what you need to to make it work for your needs. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below, or you can leave questions down there and I will get back to you as soon as I can. You can also leave the video a thumbs up or you could share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. That will allow you to receive notifications each time a new video is posted if you click the bell. And if you're following along with our series of 10 videos, you'll want to go ahead and click that bell icon so you know when the next video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.